In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the 10 things you must know if you're considering a move or relocation to Somerville, South Carolina. And number five might drive you crazy. And number 10, well, that's my favorite. So let's jump into number one, the historic charm. So Somerville does an incredible job of keeping Somerville still quaint and beautiful. And that's probably one of my favorite things. They, it's, it's like everywhere that you go, they've got this little pocket park or a garden or something like that. You've got Magnolia Plantation Gardens not too far away, Middleton Plantation. I'm just strolling through Azalea Park and it's absolutely beautiful here. It's very historic water that fills up in here when we get a lot of rain. So again, if you're someone like me, you like the outdoors, you like taking your kids out for walks, you like the beauty, um, the Spanish hanging moss, all of that, then you're gonna love Somerville. It's probably one of my favorite parts. And I think anybody looking to relocate here is gonna also love this because it's 72 today, sunny, and I'm just taking a stroll through a park. Not bad. Behind me, you can see that we've got the historic section of Somerville. That's gonna include and give you a ton and ton of different places to check out, restaurants, fun places to go. But what they did was they kept it very historic looking. They keep the, the whole theme and the area just absolutely beautiful. Uh, kudos to Somerville and their town for, for doing that. Somerville is rich in its history. In Somerville, it keeps up with that picturesque look throughout the entire area, throughout the whole town and city. And then on smack on top of it, Spanish hanging moss, oak lined roadways. And not only that, but you've got beautiful, beautiful homes antebellum porches like it is that's pretty nice so coming in at number two on the list is the weather and you guys you, got, you can't be mad at some sunshine i mean like look at this it is beautiful out today beautiful su sun sunshine look at that somerville lives up to its name by having hot and humid summers we do splash in the occasional thunderstorm and possible hurricane and you know life gets pretty exciting around here make sure you're prepared for the scorching weather if you can't deal with the hot humid heat you may not want to come here number three the absolute low cost living let's check out that shopping video So this is the bread that we usually get. Look at that, $4.99 for a loaf. And then on certain days, they have a two for one. Hot dogs, hamburger rolls, about four bucks, five bucks, which is pretty standard if you're you know, looking. Chicken produce is relatively a little bit more expensive, $18.99. You guys are shopping with me, grocery shopping together. Only part of my channel here gallon of milk, you're looking at 359, it's a 2%. Let's go check out eggs. $5.89, now if you guys wanna get the super bougie kind, the free range, at $7.29, and then Nelly's is on sale for $3.99, so it's a $2 savings. Let's do this. Let's head over and get some gas, shall we? Regular, you're at 313, plus you're at 358, and then premium 393. And unfortunately, I take premium. <laughs> One of the biggest perks to living in Somerville is the shopping and how inexpensive, relatively inexpensive everything is. Gas, food, milk, eggs, bread, all of it. You'll be able to stretch your dollar a lot further here. Hey, if you're watching this video, that last tip you enjoyed, go ahead and do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, tap that notification bell. Also, if you're th even thinking about moving or relocating to Somerville, you gotta reach out. Give me a call, days, nights, weekends, holidays, it doesn't matter. Give me a call, 
let me know what I can do to help you. I can find you a fantastic home, fantastic neighborhood. You want a home with a pool? We can get you one. It's all about what you want and what you're looking for, but you gotta reach out. You gotta give me a call. Let me know how I can help you. All right, number four is outdoor recreational living. And you guys know, we have beautiful weather here. This is this is our end of March, eight, beginning of April weather, and I already got the pool open. So, you know, again, this is the kind of lifestyle you can have if you relocate here. Between the numerous trails, walking paths, golf cart paths, uh, you name it, bike paths, and then, hey, pools at amenity centers, all of that. The outdoor lifestyle is big here, but just make sure you get yourself a screen porch, just like this one, because you will be miserable if you try to sit outside all summer long with no cover or no screen porch. I'm gonna take you guys to downtown Nexon and show you how they're building in an outdoor environment for people and outdoor recreation. It's pretty cool, let's go check it out. Here is the dedicated running and walking path that just goes for over 22 miles in between Nexon and Cane Bay. Here is the actual golf cart path, okay? And then across the way where I've parked my vehicle, this is downtown Nexton. This is gonna be, let me explain this. First floor shops, restaurants, and all those goodies. Upstairs are gonna be high-end condominiums, apartments, places you'll be able to rent and buy it's all indoor outdoor kind of accessibility and look at they're building up downtown next and so large that you can see the development all right number five is the traffic now i come from new york so this is not like a deal killer for me this is like pretty much it's cute it's ador it's adorable traffic let me just say no i'm kidding it depends on who you ask most people are going to complain about the traffic but i'll be honest it's not as bad as comparative to much larger metropolitan cities where you're sitting in traffic two three hours so yeah that sucks but this this traffic's not too bad it's just dorchester road north main street 17 176 the 26 that all can get clogged down and congested at any point in the day so you really have to plan ahead i recommend using Waze, which is an app for your phone it automatically reroutes you if traffic does start to back up and build up you can just get it on your merry little way number six is the culinary scene oh prepare your taste buds because i gotta tell you there is a ton of restaurants in nexon square in somerville i mean you really can go anywhere throw a stone and you will hit an excellent restaurant now the service may not always be great but most of them are getting there because they're, well, they're hiring people who are just moving here and looking for jobs and want to actually see this area grow. So we're getting a really good mix of folks that are moving in and they're working at these restaurants and they understand hospitality, Southern hospitality. So again, there are tons of places to eat and drink and enjoy yourself. I actually wanna show you something. If you've had a biscuit in your life and you're like, Ryan, what's, what's the big deal? What, what could be so good? Right here behind me is Vicious Biscuit, and you can see the line. Every day, there is a line here until about 12. They sell out for the day, and they pack up and go home. So there's a very good possibility that you could be standing there, and they come out and say, guys, we have sold out for the day. Got Hall's Chop House. Let's go check that out. If you guys like sushi or um, Japanese hibachi, you've got Fuji Grill, which is right over there across from the gym strategically placed I think pub style food you got sports book you want a high-end steakhouse you got Hall's Chop House and they do have a patio outdoor area as well as a formal dining room and guys this is all within roughly a 10 minute ride from all the neighborhoods so if you're looking to try to come up with something to go out to eat with your friends your family they've got it you also have Pugans they're like a southern style kitchen um, across the way you have Pages Ochre Grill, same thing, very Southern style food. You have the Codfather, which is a little different for me to be honest. I come from Buffalo, we did not cook with cod, but it's the same thing, fish and chips. And then if you want a very expensive, but very amazing cut of meat, you got New York Butcher Shop. They'll actually prepare it for you. So I don't know what it is, but I usually suck when it comes to preparing my steaks and prepping them and putting all the seasoning on. But these guys, they do it for you. Now we have the Bad Daddy's Burger Bar. 
this location, they'd make all gourmet fresh burgers. Everything's fresh, really, really delicious. One of the things I like about Bad Daddy's Burger Bar is they also do like a chocolate shake bar or milkshake bar with all different kinds of variations. And then here, you got Taco Boy, and then we've come full circle and you got Vicious Biscuit here again. So when you're talking about lifestyle and like quality of life, doesn't get much better than this. Like, look at this. Berkeley County Sheriff's rolling through, doing what they do best, protecting and serving, man. I'll tell you what, I have never felt more safer moving to an area like, when we were in Buffalo, yeah, you see Buffalo cops, but they were just like always at the events. You didn't like see a lot of visual deterrence. Here, and, and maybe that's because Buffalo is pretty big, but here you've got the sheriffs, you got Somerville PD, you got the Dorchester County Sheriffs, you got uh, State Troopers. I mean, the visual deterrence is absolutely incredible here. I have made it back full circle, so that's your food tour. Hey guys, did you enjoy that last tip? I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm a big foodie. Listen, if you are enjoying everything you're hearing right now and you're like, this all sounds great, Ryan, sign me up, then give me a call, 843-226-5535. You wanna see available properties now? Go to www.buyfromrye.com and make sure Make sure you call me and say, hey, Ryan, I watched the video. You told me to call. I'm calling. Let's get this house search rolling. I got you. Number seven is family-friendly community. If you are a family or you're just starting a family, maybe you're thinking about starting a family, this is an excellent area because there's tons of kids, there's tons of families. It's a melting pot of people here, but most importantly, there's so much for families and kids to do between the Charleston County Parks, all the historic plantation and gardens. You really, really can stretch not only your time, but outdoor time, but also your enjoyment with your family. Go spend some time together, you know, and that's what it's all about. So this is a great area for that. Number eight is historic preservation. Now, this is one thing I'm pretty proud of uh, talking about because Somerville does a fantastic job with restoration and actually keeping old buildings and, and just kind of updating them and doing what they need to to bring them up to today's standards. And I'll tell you what, when you go to Hutchinson Square, you go anywhere downtown, it just feels like you're walking back into time. It feels like everything is just so beautiful and historic. I mean, it's it's nice. It's nice to see that old architecture. We don't see that anymore. You know, you drive through areas and everything looks the same or cookie cutter. And it's just nice to have that historic charm to an area where you can go, spend some time, sit in the park, relax, enjoy yourself, read a book, do yoga. They got goat yoga, silent discos. I mean, Somerville is booming when it comes to activities and they incorporate the historic charm. So I love that they keep up with the restoration and the preservation of that. I love that they keep up with the restoration and preservation of that. So next up on our list is we're gonna talk about how Somerville is just Southern hospitality at its finest. All right, I mentioned number 10, was gonna be my favorite and it sure is. Hey, so festivals and events. So I'm a huge festivals guy. I love going to the car, Cars and Coffee in the morning. Daniel Island does an octane uh, and ale event. I like also going to the farmer's market in the morning, get my, my pork rinds and stuff like that. So there's all these different things you can do, tons of festivals, even my favorite one of the year, which is the Flower Town Festival. That's like some, I mean, I, I think it's like over, uh, it's almost to like 2000 vendors. I think it's pretty crazy. 42,000 to 52,000 people a year come to this festival. It's three days long, so you, that's that many people packing, lining the streets. And most of them come back year after year. But the Flower Town Festival and the farmer's markets and the cars and coffee, the cars, hey, they even have uh, coffee and a cop. You know, like there's so many events and so many things to do and you will enjoy it and absolutely love it. I am at the Flower Town Festival here, 2024 Flower Town Festival, right across from Hutchinson Square. Uh, and I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see this. <clears throat> This is going on for three or four miles here. There are just vendors, 
There are everything food trucks, uh, Brazilian food, Japanese food, you name it, all kinds of artisans, crafts, Greek food. And it's probably one of my favorite things to bring the family to. And the kids are gonna have a great time. There's tons of stuff to purchase. And that's the cool part. Like all of these places come together for three days out of the year. This is one of the largest festivals in the country. It's over 42,000 people um, the entire weekend. Each day, they average about 20,000 people. So over the course of three day, Sunday's obviously a little bit slower, but you at least get, you get the benefit of having all of the different stuff going on. You get to check out all the different booths, cultural food, ethnic foods, you name it. So we'll walk through the Flower Town Festival a little bit. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a first-hand a world of approach and we'll check it out. And you also have things like that you would normally find at like Disney, like chicken, chicken legs, turkey legs, jumbo turkey legs. I mean it's kind of cool when you come here and you look at just how many people are on the street at the same time. So not only do they have food, arts, and crafts, but you got live music, which you can't really, you can't really complain about. It's kind of fun. This whole street gets shut down. Normally people are driving on the street, but today it is all shut down for the festival. All right, guys, did you absolutely love this video? Well, do me a favor, click this one right here. I think you're gonna like this one as well. This one will actually tell you a little bit more and exaggerate on what we've been talking about. So do me a favor and click that right there.